Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Lily, and today I'm showing you all of the slimes in my 324 restock. There are like 10 new ones, so this is probably one of my most varietal restock, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, so grab a snack. This video is probably going to be long, so let's just get started. First up, we have Peeps, and that's Peeps with an exclamation point because why not? And this is a amazing slay slime it's very creamy and thick and spreadable and it's pokey pokeable as well it is it has a sweet scent to it i wouldn't say necessarily marshmallow but it's very sweet and it does have a hint of marshmallow Next up, we have Egg Hunt, and this is obviously inspired by Easter. The a couple of these are going to be inspired by Easter, and then some of them are just going to be like spring slimes. Okay, so this is a actually a different texture than I've done before. It's a very thin slime, but it has the icy um, fake snow pieces in it, so it has some of that sizzle, some of that crunch, and then you add in the big jumbo rainbow foam beads in it i'm sorry i'm really tired and it looks just like one of those little egg hunts for children and i thought it was so cute and i literally love this slime and this is limited edition and so is the peeps so if you want to get it you have to be quick oh and the slime is scented like like fruit loops just because i thought you know it's like sweet and early in the morning you're going on an egg hunt you're excited cereal Next up, we have Key Lime Fluff, and this is another addition to my Cloud Slime collection, and I'm slowly getting better at these. I'm trying to reach OG Slime status, but I don't think I ever will. Anyways, this Cloud Slime is actually on the drier side, so it has a little bit more thickness to it, a little bit more of a... Um, a slow drizzle if that makes sense and that looked so slow-mo there i thought that was so funny um it has a sweet citrus scent to it and it's just this really cute pale green color which i thought was so springy it was so cute i loved making this slime Next up, we have Cookie Monster, and this is a brand new texture, never seen before, I hope. Um, and yes, the first order of this slime comes with a charm, cookie charm. It's so cute, I love it, but that's only the first order. All the other orders will receive just a random charm, or they will get googly eyes to be, you know, like Cookie Monster. Anyways, back to the slime. This is actually an amazing texture. It is a mix between a cloud cream. No, not a cloud cream. I apologize. It's a mix between a cloud dough, like the fluffy cloud doughs, and a mix between an icy slime. So it has amazing sizzles, and the icy pieces make it very thick, which I love. But it also has a slight drizzle like a cloud slime. I literally love this one and to top it all off it is scented just like chocolate chip cookies because it's cookie monster next up is a clear slime base actually and i love this slime i mean literally it is so pretty and it's so cute and i just want to steal it but, you know, I have to save something for the restock, so, sadly. Anyways, um, the name of this is called The Pink Lake, and if you don't know what that's a reference to, there is this gorgeous lake in Australia where the minerals that are surrounding the lake make it pink. So, it's so gorgeous. Um, I love it. And so, I decided to do something inspired by that. So, this is a translucent slime, which means it's a clear slime and a little bit of white glue mixed in to make it a clear texture, but to have the appearance 
of a white glue slime it is very thick and creamy and i love it and this one is actually unscented Next up is actually a slime inspired by a jewelry shop I love, which is at TondaElizabeth.com. And my mother actually runs it, and she makes these most amazing crystal point necklaces and rings and earrings. And one of my favorite st stones, sorry, <laughs> that she used was called Starstone. And it's this gorgeous black stone with these kind of almost glitters in them and it's shimmering and gorgeous so i made a slime inspired that uh, by that and obviously it's a thick clear slime it does not dye your hands it's amazing i love it so i definitely want you guys to go check her shop out i love it and it's actually her own website so i will link everything down below moving right along we have a harry potter slime and i think this is the first slime in my harry potter collection I don't know we're just gonna go with it but if you don't know this is called felix felicius 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 i i have no idea how to pronounce that if you want to correct me go ahead and mention it in the comments down below but this is obviously inspired by the luck potion in harry potter in the sixth book i believe i just finished reading it so it's you know a little triggering uh, if you've read it i'm sad but um, this is a very thick gold slime. It's a little sticky here. I'm sorry. I apologize But it has some gold glitters in it to represent pictures of the potion because I haven't seen the movies yet because I don't want to ruin the books so Yeah, and it's unscented Next up we have mermaid elixir and the slime has not cleared yet. So this is definitely not an accurate thing of the slime you I, I hope you understand what i'm saying but um this slime is actually not colored at all it is colored purely by glitters and i love this slime it's a gorgeous blue that comes amidst off the glitters it's gorgeous and it has pink iridescent flakes in it as well as a mermaid glitter it's kind of a collection of blue and green and pink and purple glitters in it so it's very gorgeous and it has some extra little gold glitters in there because you know gold fixes everything and this is unscented because i wanted to make sure i could get this as clear as i could humanly possibly make it clear next up is something i'm really excited for and this is called amethyst and yes i realize it looks blue it's not that blue it's a lot more purple in real life trust me but if you don't know what an amethyst is it's this gorgeous purple stone it has a layer of a clear kind of stone on the bottom and then obviously it's the purple stone on top so i made a slime in honor of that and it's a gorgeous i mean this is completely clear like one of the clearest slimes i've ever made um it's a clear slime on the bottom and then the blue slime purple slime on the top it's it's kind of a mix it kind of turned out weird so this is obviously unscented because i wanted to cure it as clear as i could possibly make it and i want to do like a crystal collection so let me guys let me guys i've done that three times now let me know what you guys think of the crystal collection do you want me to do more of these what are your thoughts The next slime is one I am literally so excited about. I mean, I don't even think you understand. So if you follow OG Slimes on Instagram or YouTube or anywhere, any of their social media platforms at all, you will know that they do a lot of cloud slimes with the little like rubber animals in them, like the Scorpio and the um, like lizards and stuff. And so the pink gecko beach, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> so I wanted to do a slime inspired by that. So this is called the gold dust gecko and it is a real gecko in the flesh. I, yes, um, it is a gorgeous green skinned gecko. And then it has this blue and red flared out chest and it's so pretty. You should Google it cause I, I just love it. So 
This lime is a very thick green cloud cream. Cloud dough, actually, it's very drizzly. I love this one. And it has some blue foam beads on top. So when you get it, you'll get the blue foam beads on top and a little pile of red glitter on top and by the time that i get this listing uploaded i'm hoping that i'll have the little plastic lizards to put on top of the slimes or just in like a separate bag but it's so cute it's unscented by the way so next up in the new slimes is called mini cheesecake and i love this one it's so cute and i've been wanting to do this for a while but i just never really had the supplies but i finally got my cheesecake scent so i was really excited and i literally made it like an hour within getting that scent so i know i am impatient so it's a very thick and creamy slime on top it's i mean the base for this the white base is amazing i literally could just play with it by itself and then you have a one of the most drizzly slimes i've ever made on bottom and i still i kept like a small container of the brown graham cracker crumbs quote unquote because i just love it so much and when you mix the two together you get a really nice thick cloud cream i love the texture of this and obviously it's scented like cheesecake so yeah Sadly, we've come to the last slime in my new collection, but there will be plenty of new ones next week, trust me. So, this slime is called Hot and Buttered Popcorn, and the and is in actually like an N with the apostrophe because I'm cool, yeah. So, the thing that is really interesting about this slime is it's actually a clear slime on the bottom, and then it has the like popcorn pieces, um, the packing peanuts that look like popcorn on top which is so realistic like in my listing pictures i used them and it looked like popcorn i was uh, shocked myself and then it has some smaller yellow foam beads in them i think that's right um and it's really fun because you can crush up the popcorn pieces and the beads just kind of stay there so it's definitely like an added crunch and it is obviously scented like hot and buttered popcorn next you already know who this is because she's back this is honeycomb cubes and i finally made a batch of this and it's so bubbly and so crispy and i love it it's a clear slime base colored like a honey color you know and then it has the jelly cubes in it to make it really crunchy and these ones actually don't break up so you have a permanent jelly cube this is unscented by the way just a quick note on jelly cube slimes they actually the sponge will absorb a lot of the slime just so you know because some people have been messaging me and saying that the slime has deflated or it fits into a six ounce or whatever i'm just letting you know that the sponge absorbs a lot of the slime so if you want to reach the full length you just have to push the cubes So next we have dragon fruit punch and this is a beautiful gray kind of purplish slime base it's very thick and creamy and then it has the purple beads on top to represent the skin of the actual dragon fruit and it is a very sweet and fruity scent to it so i don't really know what a dragon's fruit smells like so i got as close as i could
We also have Tutti Frutti in this restock, and this is a gorgeous pink base slime, and the paint color for this is actually called Tutti Frutti, so that is where I got the name. Um, it has a mixture of rainbow foam beads on top, but I decided to add more of the purple beads and the blue beads to kind of contrast with that rainbow color, and I just thought it looked like super cute because it all of my foam beads mixed at the bottom of my foam bead bucket and this is what it turned out to be so i decided to make a mixture inspired by those so it turned out so cute and this is scented like a very sweet fruity candy next we have cotton candy whip and yes i'm cringy i know i'm great everybody hates me it's okay but anyways this is cotton candy whip and it is a gorgeous blue slime base with the pink beads on top to give that cotton candy essence effect thing whatever you want to call it this slime is actually one of the thickest slimes i've ever made it is actually scented like a like very chocolatey and sweet candy if that makes sense i had a cotton candy scent but i didn't want to scent it like cotton candy so i decided to scent it like this and for some reason it just suits it i don't know why it just smells amazing and it is just very thick and creamy and i love it and i only have a couple more of these in stock just so you know We also have guavan nectar in this restock and this is a very thick and glossy i mean the gloss is real here i mean oh she pretty but this is guava nectar and it is a gorgeous kind of pinky red color to look like an actual guava so it is a thick and creamy base like i've said before and the gloss is gorgeous it is very stretchy and just amazing all around this slime also is scented like a very sweet kind of tropical fruit. If I hope that makes sense to somebody. Just, it's a sweet tropical fruit. Next up we have Honeysuckle and this is a very thick butter slime sorry i was about to say cloud slime and then i realized it's a butter slime not a cloud slime so this is actually kind of a slay slime i'd say it is on the butterier side if that makes sense but it is a very thick cloud slime oh my god i keep saying cloud slime butter slime i apologize and it is colored like the real actual flower and i wanted to do honeysuckle because my name is honeybee slimery so i wanted to do more honey things okay so it is a gorgeous kind of pale yellow with a hint of orange because yes and then it has the green foam beads in it to really capture the effect of the leaves on a honeysuckle because the leaves are gorgeous they're like these really vibrant green so i really wanted to like put that in the slime to make it like the flower and it just kind of has a sweet florally scent to it so it's not like special but it's it does smell good next up we have margarita fridays and this is a thick clear slime base and this when i say thick i mean thick like it's really thick and then it has the icy snow pieces in it and it is unscented to preserve the clarity but the glue has a slightly sweet scent to it so if that makes a difference for anybody but the icy just give it a nice crunch and a nice sizzle so there you go Next, we have Hostess Snowball, and I only have a couple more of these in stock because I almost sold out last week. 
and this is a thick cloud dough it's very drizzly and it is a pink color and this is inspired by the little pink snack cakes that hostess makes that are called the snowballs and it actually is a mixture between an icy slime and a cloud dough so it has those icy pieces in it but it also is a cloud slime and it has an amazing coconut chocolate scent to it Next, we have mango ice cream, and there's no mango sorbet in this restock. I ended up selling out, and I didn't have the supplies to make it again. So, we have mango ice cream, and this is a very thick cloud dough. It is scented like mango ice cream, and it has an amazing color to it. It's very vibrant, and I just love this slime. It is so drizzly. It's amazing. Next up, we have cereal milk, and it is a very thick and creamy slime. It is amazing, and it's scented like a very sweet cereal, and there's not much to say about this. I guess it's really glossy. It's just, it's a great slime. And lastly, we have Cocoa Puffs, and this is obviously inspired by Peachy Babies because she's done Cocoa Puffs, and a couple other slimers have done Cocoa Puffs. So it is a very thick brown base, and it is scented just like the name. It is scented just like Cocoa Puffs. It's amazing. I love it. And it has the white beads on top, and it has the most amazing crunch. It's great. I love it. And the base is actually really thick and clicky, so that's a bonus. Anyways guys, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to see more cool testing videos, restocking videos, challenges, whatever else you want to see from me. And make sure to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every single time that I post one of those videos. And as you're watching this video, my shime slime shop will be open all weekend, so go get yourself some slime. Also, I am having a giveaway on my Instagram and on my YouTube, so make sure to go into the description because I will link all the rules down below. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video and I will see you next week. Bye!